tonight on EA Sports. It's Super Bowl Sunday. the Dublin Celtic Tigers taking on the New Orleans Saints. We are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Tonight it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champions taking on the NFC champions, the New Orleans Saints. This Super Bowl is underway. Taking it about the one. Oh, fighting off the defender. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And out will come the leader of this offense. And that, of course, is their signal caller. And I liked what his head coach told us about him this week, that no matter what happens, he, whether he throws seven interceptions or seven touchdown passes, He's the same assertive leader in the huddle on each and every play. He can throw the seven interceptions, just blame the football, blame anything else, and still carry himself like he is the man. It's like you, assertive in our production meetings. Well, especially when we're talking talk about ordering dinner, ordering some I was snacks. just going to say. That's, that's where I go. falls to the ground brings up second and ten so now they'll come up on second and ten once again from the 28 to throw again Evans over the middle complete that's Carter they get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the second row. Evans now from the gun on third down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Back 
to throw is Evans. On first and 10, to the right side and complete to Thomas. Give him six on the play, and it's a second down. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we get back. They'll bring out four receivers, three of them being sent to the left, one to the right, second and four. Operating from the gun, Evans. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's got this down to the 35. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Stops short of the 25, and that second effort got him a couple extra. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards, and it's second and two. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. From the gun, Evans. And that's a touchdown. The ball, and there is a flag down on the field. We'll have to see what this is about. the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? And a good gain here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. From the 10-yard line, here's second and goal. A nine-yard gain brings up second and goal. Operating from the gun, Evans. This will be caught just inside the 10. Yeah. And he'll be out of bounds. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick... And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And this offense takes the ball down the field and scores on their opening drive. Well, these guys have won three straight ball games and another good start to this one out to the 6-0 lead. And I've talked with so many different coaches, as have you, along the way, and they always talk about winning streaks and the mood of a team and how much easier it is to actually prepare during that time. Guys are sharp. Guys are focused. Everyone's feeling good, and we're seeing it early in this one. Extra point attempt to come here. And it's good to make it 7 to nothing. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. Big Tigers 7, Saints nothing. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Here come the Saints for their opening drive. 
Orchestrating the offense will be a man who, of course, won a national title back in his days at Clemson, Deshaun Watson. Everything you want in a starting quarterback in the NFL, especially in the physical category. If you have the idea that he's one of those rah-rah, spitting fire guys, he's not that at all. But he has a will to win that really the team picks up on, and they can't wait to follow him in the victory. And a quick throw here that's complete. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Pick up of six. Brings up second and four at the 30-yard line. Watson off play action. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck rule that they can fall back on anymore. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Ballard. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? The, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? Seven-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, brings up second and two. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. I think the reason that this play is so successful is not just the blocking at the point of attack, but how about the speed at which he takes the handoff? He's in motion already, so he's not coming from a flat start like a running back often is. He's at a full run by the time he gets the football. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the gun, here's Watson. His throw is incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Throwing again is Watson. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Incomplete. Brings up a third down and 10 yards. Throwing on third down, Watson. Throw left side, complete. It's coming. And he is in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. A try here for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So that drive takes them down the field in eight plays, and it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 here as the kick's away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And that last touchdown drive they had very balanced. How key is that balance? It's huge because most of the time when we talk about balance is run, pass, almost 50-50. But most of the times when you tell the offensive coaches, they say balance is we do what we want when we want to. <laughs> and that means that they're ahead of the defense, keeping them on their heels. Now they impose their will on that last drive. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Four. It's now second and six. 
at the 28-yard line. From the gun, Evans. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Good work after the catch, going to net him 23 and a first. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake in the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Now a give right side, Thomas. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. No gain on the play. Second and 10. Operating from the gun, Evans. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. to see the play develop in front of you. And the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Here's Evans. Throwing on first down. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. Oh, Thomas unable to reel that one in. And that'll bring up second down. We've already seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half. Unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball in a passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well. Creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. Looking to throw. Evans. Fourth down after the New Orleans defense holds serve. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. And his kick is indeed good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. Tigers 10, Saints 7. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. For first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. They start the drive with high. Space to maneuver at the 40. As we get this one up to the 44-yard line. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. He's obviously a bit of a shorter running back. Sometimes when he goes up the middle like that, he, he gets lost in there, and then he pops out for 10, 20 yards. I actually asked NFL linebackers if that was true. Do you actually lose sight of some of the smaller running backs? And all of them confirmed that that can be a problem. Think of it this way. Two of the top running backs in NFL history, Emmitt Smith, Barry Sanders, both 5'10". Now a first down throw, Watson, and incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. It's now second and 10. Throwing again, Watson. Completions and that has him staring at a third and ten. Brings up third down and ten. A shotgun snap for Watson. He finds his running back high. And they'll get this across the midfield stripe, but still winding up short of the first down. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down. They just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense.
Here comes the Saints punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. Dublin's offense now set to take over. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on the lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Again. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Now Evans, back to the air on second down. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. First and 10 at the 27-yard line. Seven, our score after one, right here on EA Sports. Tigers ten, Saints seven. Evans now on first and ten, and he fires one incomplete. Second and ten now from the twenty-seven. Incomplete. It leads to second and ten. To throw again. Evans. And he slings one that's incomplete. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and ten. And that will be incomplete as well. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Set to take over once again. Out comes the Saints offense. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. The line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Brings up second and ten. Throwing on second down. Watson. Looking left side and he's got a man. It's Carter. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Tackle made at the 38-yard line. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. Out of the gun, Watson. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Loss of five yards. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. something special here on third and long after that sack what does Watson have in his arsenal now a 
They'll play fake, and it's Watson. He's going to sling this deep downfield. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off down near the five. a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air and then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. Dublin's offense now set to take over. But well, what do you think? You get the ball off the turnover near the middle of the field. You take a shot here on the first play? You know I'm big on that. I love when I have great field position after a turnover. I feel like I might have them a little bit off balance. I prefer to take a shot, but a lot of coaches will tell you you only do it if you trust the guy who's got the football in his hands. Meaning, if it's not there, he won't force it downfield and maybe turn into an interception. He'll go to the check down, go to a second option, and go ahead and take the play that's in front of him. Yeah, now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Six yards left on second down. They run the counter. It's Thomas. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And finally brought down at the 31 yard line. 23 yards to pick up there. Dance class, anyone? Did you see the steps between the quarterback and the running That's back? What you on need that counter for a good play? counter. You have to have it because you're setting up your blocking. There's a timing element as well, but they have to marry up their steps. Otherwise, that timing gets thrown out the window. Timing was great there and a big run. So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 down at the 31. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. Flushed out right. And now he's going to use his legs. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. scrimmage the 15 it's first and 10 going to give this time to the tailback and now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9 it's a 6 yard gain on the ground and that'll make it 2nd and 4 a 6 yard pickup brings up 2nd and 4 and now a first chance for the backup here to throw that's complete right around the 8 and he will take this one in for a touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. The tight end position has always been dangerous, especially in the red zone, short field. But now even more so because these tight ends aren't necessarily the tight ends of old. They're the rocked-up wide receivers who have a little bit more speed, way harder to cover than before. Extra point attempt here still to come. It's good to make it 17-7. So that drive span five plays. Mix to score Celtic Tigers 17. Saints 7. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. And they're on 31 yard line. And now the Saints get set to trot out there. They trail by 10, 17 7 as they come up on a first and 10. Here's Hyde as they begin on the ground. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. A gain of a yard. If they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Over the middle, but it's incomplete. The 
the Saints on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and nine. Third down and nine yards to go. From the gun, Watson. Throw left side complete. It's Carter. And able to get this one across the 45 before it's brought down. His second catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. First and Somebody missed an assignment. He was waving his arms saying, uh, hey, I'm wide open. They found him. You think? You think? I mean, he was so wide open. Did you see he was just windmilling like he was Don Quixote or somebody out there? And then they found him for a really nice game. series after the delay of game first and 15 <laughs> operating from the gun Watson. and his throw here is incomplete by the way I gotta apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth my bad I'm gonna get back over to my spot yeah we're not talking about our on-air commentary here. I mean what is all this extra paper I mean this is unusual know, for you my bad Normally you run a really tight ship what's going on here just like that incomplete pass I'm gonna try to tighten things up here for this next play Watson on third down here comes the Saints punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. His guys take over first and 10. At their own. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. On first down, Thompson, wide open receiver complete. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. At the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. From the gun, Thompson stepping up. He's going to keep it. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four at the 36-yard line. Operating from the gun. Thompson looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Carter. And he went nowhere. He went backwards, back to the 33. He was able to get away initially on that play, but ultimately not much space to roam. Great job there by them containing him because you mentioned he got away initially, and how many times does that end up with a guy taking off for 15 or 20 yards? Here, the support was there, and they made the tackle for a loss. The offense on third down tonight. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and seven. From the gun, Thompson rolling to his right. He may try and run for this. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy, make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. And they run the option here on first and 10. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Well, That's a 
12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. All right, I got to ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level, most things are called outside of the quarterback faking it to the runner and then keeping it himself and maybe having a trail back. What I mean is, in the NFL, that option to throw the football all comes about organically. It's a natural deal based on reads. In college, if you're going to throw the football off a triple option, you've actually called that play. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Thompson on first down. A quick throw, but incomplete. Thompson's Looking to go back to Thomas again, and that'll bring up second down. It's now second and 10 at the 30-yard line. Throwing again. Thompson, and that is incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and 10. Operating from the gun, Thompson. And now another one thrown incomplete. I know we're just in the second quarter and there's a ways to go in this game, but that's a second drop. I'm wondering if that's a little bit of an alarm bell for them when they start calling plays on the offensive side of the ball. His eyes already looking upfield on that last one before he brought it in. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. No one ever told my offense right here. The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him. Right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, if some guy, there are going to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. But that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the gun, Watson. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. It's second down and 10. To throw again. Watson going for it all. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. And Charles, the defender, was there. He just didn't get it. Sometimes these plays turn into basketball in a sense. With two guys going up for the football, which guy's going to box the other away from it and grab it? Yeah, I know you hear it a lot, but it's just the will to get it, right? Oh, without a doubt. The will as well as a really nice touch on the ball that was thrown. And some talent, too. Point. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. So that drive, four plays, and it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. And this will make it into the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. 25 yard Dublin's line. offense now set to take over. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. A gain of six there on first. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. A six-yard pickup. Operating from the gun. Thompson. And this one's incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you get a battle on your hands. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime.
to throw is Thompson. Throwing on first down. And a sideline pass that's caught by Thomas. Thompson, nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. He's taken out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. From the gun, Thompson. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Here's Thompson on first and ten. Over the middle, open is Thomas. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Operating from the gun, Thompson. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. And his kick is good. And they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. Tigers 20, Saints 14. So good work there to get points just before the half as they add on to their lead. As trite as it sounds, every little bit helps. That's exactly what they're going for. Anytime you get a chance to put points on the board, you take it. And they didn't leave the other side with much time at all on the clock. The Saints, take over. the Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. So we've come upon halftime in the big one, the Super Bowl. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. It's been a tremendous season from beginning to end. And now we'll play one half of football to decide who raises the Lombardi Trophy. And for the call, let's get it right back to Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. First down 10 at their own 26-yard line. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. From the 30 on second down, Watson. And a quick throw here that's complete. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. From the gun, Watson. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Some boos coming down right now from this home crowd after that call. Yeah, and that was because of the pass interference call, but for a second there, I thought maybe they'd gotten a look at my uh, appearances. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sad. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. From the 50, it's Watson. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Whitaker. And he gets it down to the 32. 
Give him 18 yards on that one. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. They get nine out of that one. And as a result, the drive continues. They definitely established a rhythm on this drive, moving the ball quite well. And big man with football is an integral part of the whole thing. Some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Drops it underneath to Thomas. Thompson's pass. They'll get only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. It's a gain of three. It's third and seven. Now Thompson to throw on third down. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that's going to make it fourth down. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. It's a 39-yard punt, three on the return, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Now Deshaun Watson and his offense heading back out there. He is looking to help his team build their lead after trailing at halftime. They've got to like the spot they're in right now. They have to love it, but as you and I both know, cliche alert coming here. You're always good as your last possession, but I think that they like, as you said, the spot they're in and how confidently they're playing at this point. Uh, but again, just a one possession lead looking to expand that now. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. 
Watson on first down. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. A loss of two yards. How about that, partner? His second sack of the game, and that puts him in some pretty good company. 17 guys have had two sacks in the previous 52 Super Bowls, but only three have had the record number of three sacks in this game. And we've got the list here. If he gets another one and everyone behaves nicely, we might just list those out for him. sack they'll come up here on a second down and 12. Here's Hyde on the draw and he works his way forward for about four up to the midfield stripe. Running back. Tackle made right at midfield. That's a gain of four. Brings up third and eight. Faking the give now Watson. Going up top. And this is caught inside the five. two completions for him on this drive and these aren't ordinary completions they're big ones yeah these are the types that make a secondary talk to each other and not in a good way oftentimes pointing fingers hey who's got him someone cover him that type of indecision can open up to even more big plays after the big play a chance to finish now on first and goal Saints add on to their lead. Nice job of polishing off that drive, but all the credit there goes to that play prior. Yeah, it certainly does, because after that big play, I think resistance almost felt futile at that point, didn't it? And the very next play, they come right back, quick, fast, and in a hurry, and put it in the end zone. Now the try here for the extra point. up to eight. Five plays there on that drive. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. 20. Now there's the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taking it about the one. And they will wrangle it down a couple of yards shy of the 30. Guys take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone. And now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And of course, with that, comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage. And again, that second score here in the third quarter. And this is incomplete. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Brings up a second going again. Thompson, and he comes back with one complete. And nothing but daylight ahead. Touchdown! A big play there. 72 yards. And his guy's now just a two-point conversion away from tying us up. And nothing too crazy there. A quick slant, and then he just had a seam. He found a seam. And when you hit it on the run like that, and I mean the pass right to the receiver who's already in motion and moving, sometimes he just takes it and runs away from everyone else. And he ran it into the end zone. And the defense, they've got to adjust there quickly. That's tough on them. That's really tough because everything was executed well. Ball was out of his hands quickly, into the hands of the receiver, and then he was gone. Goes right side. And he's got it. So they went ahead and went for two to tie the game, and it works out. Still time to work with on the clock, but they wanted the tie now, and they got it. And I love their aggressiveness. Go ahead and get it done. Get the game tied. Now your team has the momentum, and you're staring across the field saying, let's see if you can match us. So right back to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away. Up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Saints take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. 
Now Deshaun Watson and his offense heading back out there. He has been consistent, hasn't he? He played well in the first quarter, good second quarter, and now continuing that here in the third. And that's the word that they're always seeking from the guy taking the snaps is consistency. Taking care of the ball, making sure it gets to the right people, no errors, right? Not turning it over and just doing all the right things. That's leadership, and it inspires confidence in a team. Yeah, been a good leadership and a good distributor. Brings up second and again, it's Hive. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Number 37. Brought down at the 30-yard line. It's a gain of four. Makes it third and two. Third and two, Watson. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That goes as a gain of 36 on third down. Well, if you're a fan of offensive football, this game is for you because this one's been much more like a tennis match than a football game. Back and forth, back and forth. And there's another example right there of another big play in the passing game. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. From the gun, Watson. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Complete to number 80. It's a gain of eight. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Operating from the gun, Watson, his throw incomplete. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Brings up third down and two. A tenth carry for Hyde. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? you got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. He'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive will take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now high. him up nicely first and goal it was a pickup of 14. how many times do we say in this game that speed kills and it does it in so many different ways in this case you got a back who's quick and shifted can make moves make people miss but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down that's some of the benefits of that speed not just outrunning people in the secondary that led to a really nice game They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. And a look now at Nelson, who remains down. He appears to be shaken up a bit. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. From the two now, second and goal. And they'll turn their power game to try to get in. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. After a play like that, it should be congratulations all the way around, I think, because if you can stop a big fullback like that, that's not easily done. Yeah, he does not go down easily. You're right, but he did there. Super Bowl. Yeah. 
Watson going to try and run it. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Deshaun Watson. A three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the Saints have moved out in front. Partner wasn't that long ago, though, when I talked with these NFL coaches about different innovations in the college game. You can see their eyes roll and they, they just shut down right away. Don't bring me that Joe College stuff. Well, guess what? The college game has definitely infiltrated its way into the NFL. Yeah, and, so, and these guys, when you're seeing the option defensively, you got to stick to your assignments. I know that's cliche. They didn't do it there. And option football means exactly what you just talked about, assignment football for defenders. And that drives them crazy because you have to think your way through a play as opposed to just reacting and making the play. 27 yard line. Dublin's offense now set to take over. And it's quickly becoming now or never time in the Super Bowl, trailing by seven here in the fourth. A pivotal, pivotal moment in this football game. Thompson now on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Second and ten now from the 27. It leads to second and ten. To throw again. Thompson. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. It's a first down and a gain of ten. ten at the 37-yard line. Here's Thompson. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. The first down screen pass, good for five. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. Now Thompson. The 43-yard line. There again is Thomas. They've gone to him a lot. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 11 yards there, first down. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. From the gun, Evans. Throw is going to be incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well. You know, he's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously, one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Back to throw is Evans. Going to throw again. The improv act there, good for nine, and now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. The offense on third down tonight, they're at 50%, four for eight. They're up against a third and one situation. They run with Thomas, and he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, though, if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Operating from the gun. Evans sliding out of the pocket. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And down to the 16-yard line. So I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Move it around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but... It's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. A completion, yes, but certainly not what they wanted. A loss of a full six yards. You know, the key to a good screen pass is, don't you? But you're going to tell me, good blocking? Well, good blocking eventually. But first, it's good acting. You want to let the defenders go past you 
leak out to whichever side or even in the middle where you want to set up the screen, and then you do your blocking. How about the read, though, by the defensive guys? They weren't fooled at all and actually ran with the lineman to where the play was and smothered it for a loss of yardage. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and just like that, it's third down. Brings up third and seven. From the gun, Evans. And it's caught. Touchdown. Touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? And, you know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where would you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. And a pause in the action because the booth, they see something that they want to take another peek at to find out if this was a touchdown or not. The kicker on for the point after. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the technology is for. And this touchdown will count. Is good. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. This will be fielded inside the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. At their own 30-yard line. The New Orleans offense set to take over. And this Super Bowl has been as good as advertised. Probably one of the best that we've seen in recent memory. All even here in this fourth quarter. So first and 10 now from the 30. Operating from the gun, Watson. Oh, he's got him in wide open, complete. Touchdown, New Orleans. Deshaun Watson, four touchdown passes now in the ball game, and the Saints have moved down in front. Well, that's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game. I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of poise because typically when teams tie the game up, it's a little bit of a, how would you say, you kind of kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped. They regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? They attacked back after they'd been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement long touchdown. And he'll bang that one through. They certainly made quick work of that, ultra quick work. One of the fastest drives you'll ever see. Just one play resulting in the touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Take it in at the three. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. They'll take over. First down and 10. At their own 27 yards. Dublin's offense now set to take over. And we're at the time of the Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and 10. From the gun, Evans. time but end up putting a little too much heat on it don't you think partner absolutely just needed a touch more air under it instead he fired an absolute bullet Evans throwing again on second and ten over the middle it's Thomas nine yards not quite enough and they'll be left now with third and one the offense on third down tonight they're hitting at 60 percent six out of ten thus far they need just a yard here it's third and one 
And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Evans throwing on first down. Now he's forced out right. Now he'll pull it down. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him. And they get upfield, get that great push. And what do they create? Space. And he takes off. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Operating from the gun, Evans. And now he'll tuck. Oh, no, he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Saints. And this will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. You think about it, Charles, this is not a quarterback that's used to running the football a lot in that time. He was loose with it, had it knocked free. He always has to think to himself that there's always going to be traffic around because of what you just said. Not that elusive, not going to get into the open field very often. Remember, he's not Lamar Jackson, not Michael Vick back in the day. Always has to protect the football because there's always going to be people around. <laughs> Following the fumble recovery, Watson... He's going to walk one deep left side here. And it's knocked away and incomplete. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Brings up second and 10. Off of play action, it's Watson. He's going to take another shot here. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in the second half. Instead, it's third down. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. And a third down throw incomplete as well. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. It has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Dublin's offense now set to take over. And last time, the turnover on the fumble. And they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt they were in striking distance. And come away with nothing. Not a good feeling at all for the mile Now they can't afford to do that again. Right now, can they get that? Bad taste out of their mouth here. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a game. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, Evans. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. That catch good for only a couple. Two yards on the pickup. It's second. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. Thomas barreling ahead. And they get this well pass midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That one good for 26 and a first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Now Evans on first and 10. He's got Thomas yet again complete. Evans Seven yards on the play. And that'll make it a second down. A seven-yard pickup. Brings up second and three. Operating from the gun. Evans incomplete, almost intercepted. They haven't picked him off yet. Would have been a great time for the first. 
but instead it's third down. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. If it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. Back to throw. Evans. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see it break down as the passer, I think in this situation, you're throwing it at the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it off, or you throw it away, throw it over the sideline. Don't try and freelance. And try and make a bigger play there's really no one else running a pattern that should be open had the right idea there trying to throw it to the sideline but he led him just a little bit too much trying to get it out to his receiver ends up falling to the ground incomplete looking for his running back and he's got it that's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. If they're going to have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're going to need this one on fourth down. Saints will have the football back. So the failure to convert no doubt really hurts, but this one's not over. A good chunk of time on the clock and the timeouts. Yeah, not only do they have the timeouts, as you just noted, they're going to get an extra one with the two-minute warning, and that's going to help them big way. So in a sense, they have four timeouts in their pocket. The big thing, stopping them on defense now. They can't let them get a first down and make them use their timeouts and get a fresh set of downs. They've got to stop them right here, and if so, they still got an opportunity. And this will wind up a Saints first down as the tackle made here at the 36. So it's Saints football as we get your reset. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. High. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll try to wind down some clock with Hyde, and he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 1.50 left in the football game. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They run with Hyde. He's been the bell cow tonight. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll run it. Here's Hyde. Oh, he's got a little daylight. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Just shy of the 20. For 22 and a first down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. The Saints in victory formation now as they'll take the name. Time for this one final knee to put a bow on this title bout. I don't know why we did it, but we went to their final walkthrough for some reason. And what did we see? Their last play in walkthrough was taking a knee and celebrating winning a Super Bowl. They want that visualization. They did it for real. Yeah, they just scripted it out. Defense can't stop the clock. And they can watch the final seconds tick. And the Lombardi Trophy is headed back to the bayou. The New Orleans Saints Super Bowl champions. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality.
That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you <laughs> say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team, you'll see their picture, that your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it. Super Bowl champs, the Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. And what a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.